everybody. Welcome back to Mayhem. Mayhem Bling, that is. Thanks for stopping by today. I have something really special to share with you today. Um, I'm going to do an unboxing. A couple weeks ago, my husband said, we were just sitting around, he said, I'm feeling a little bit generous. Is there anything you need for your craft stuff? Well, we all know there's always something we need for our craft stuff, right? So, it was just, uh, you know, hmm, what could it be? So, I started thinking, and then I thought, you know what? There is this one thing that I've been wanting, and I had looked at it, and I almost bought it, and then I decided it was too much for me to spend, and then I looked at it again, and I thought, well, you know what, I can splurge a little bit, and then I didn't buy it, and then so when he said that, I thought, mm-hmm, I know exactly the thing. It's going to help me a whole bunch in several different areas of my crafting. Um, it'll help me with my tumbler making. It's going to help me with my t-shirt making. It can also help me do some embellishments on some of my uh, fluid acrylic pour paintings. So what is this mystery machine? I know, I know that you're dying to know. It's in this box right here. When I say unboxing, I mean total unboxing. I have not opened it yet. So I'm going to bring you along with me to open up and find out what's in this box. I'm going to get the camera situated at a different angle so you can see everything that's going on and we'll open this bad boy up. Okay everybody I got you turned around. This is about the best, whoops, the best angle I could come up with for you to be able to see. I might be able to zoom you in just a little bit more once I get this box out of the way. But like I said, this is the front of the box now. I have not opened this at all. So we're going to tear into it and let you see what this magical mystery gadget is. I am so excited. This is a couple things I ordered extra. <clears throat> okay, so what we have today is the Icon Art custom stencil kit. How amazing is that? Okay. Unleash your creativity. So when we look at the back, and the lighting is probably not good enough for y'all to see that, but I'm going to read it to you. It says, turn your custom artwork into a stencil. Customizable, reusable, no weeding, no transfer tape, no bridges, islands, fine details, repositionable, and easy to use. Introducing a revolutionary new way to make custom stencils at home. The Icon Art Custom Stencil Kit features the items necessary to create stunning products using your own custom artwork. Icon Smart Screen Stencils are the only stencils on the market that are both customizable and reusable, making decorating surfaces effortless. DIY customization on a variety of surfaces, including glass, wood, chalkboards, metal, and more, are all made with simple Icon Art smart screen stencils. No more weeding vinyl stencils. Create custom wood signs, chalkboard art, personalized wall quotes, throw pillows, placemats, wine glasses, canvases, and so much more. Your only limit is when it comes oh your only limit is you when it comes to the possibilities of what you can create with icon art stencils. So so their website is www.iconartstencil.com. They've got project ideas, they've got videos, they've got how-tos. 
So please check them out after you finish watching my video. I think you're going to be glad you did. Especially at the end of the video when I tell you what your surprise is. On art. This is going to allow me to make reusable stencils that I can use to put on tumblers. I can paint. I can glitter. I can use this to screen print on clothing. I can use this to make stencils to embellish my fluid acrylic pour paintings. Um, so let's break into this box. I'm, today I'm not going to do a demonstration. All I'm going to do is unbox it, show you what comes with it. But hang around till the end of the video because there will be a surprise for you at the end of the video, okay? So again, this is a custom stencil kit by Icon Art. I am so excited. I'm so excited for y'all to know. I didn't know about this. I just learned about this a couple months ago from one of the groups that, that I belong to on Facebook. She was using it and showing how to use it on tumblers. And I thought, gosh, that would be awesome. Because if you're a tumbler maker, I don't know about you, but sometimes I have a hard time getting the vinyl to lay down over my, I mean, I have a hard time getting the epoxy to lay down over my vinyl. So if I can use this and just paint, that may cut out a step of epoxy. Looks like it comes very well packed. So, <clears throat> with your kit, you get the actual stencil maker. Oh, can't get a hold of it. Okay. I'm trying to get everything out of the box, and then I'll go over what's what. Sorry, it's North Alabama uh, in May, and my allergies are just horrible. So I'm sneezy and scratchy throated. Okay, so this right here is the base. Whoops, not this. This is the base of your, your stencil maker, okay? It comes with this matte black piece of cardboard that you're going to place on the base. And you use that to develop your stencils. Okay? It comes with the user guide. And it also has a quick setup guide. So this is what your stencil maker looks like. So it's got the base. It's basically a UV light on this pole. You plug it in, you expose your stencil, and we'll go through all of that because I will be doing some tutorials on actually how to use it, what you can use it for, but today I just wanted you to enjoy the unboxing and just see what's in here. Okay, it comes with this clipboard. Clipboard is very important because you have to uh, wash out your your residue from your stencils once you get them made. Comes with a squeegee that will help you if you're using it say on a garment for screen printing that will help you spread your ink. It helps you squeegee water out of your stencil and we'll get more into that. <clears throat> it also comes with a pack of it's got five sheets of laser printer film and five sheets of inkjet printer film. Now, depending on what kind of printer you're going to use to print your, your stencils with, that's what kind of film you'll use. Most of us have inkjet printers at home. Um, I'm sure some people have laser. If you do a lot of water slides on your tumblers, you may have a laser printer. You may be able to take advantage of both of these. But this is what you're actually going to run through your printer to print your design on. 
and then you use that to actually cut your stencil. <clears throat> Okay, it comes with I'm just looking here because I ordered extra stuff. So these must be the same. Okay, so this is the Icon Art stencil film, okay? It's light sensitive, that's why it's in this dark envelope, and you do not want to subject this to light until you're ready to expose and, and print your stencil. They also have textile stencil film, okay? So typically when you order this, you get one, you get a pack of five sheets of just the regular stencil film, okay? I ordered a second stencil film and then the textile film extra. So just remember, you get one pack of just of five of these. I wish I would have ordered another pack of the, I wish I would have ordered another pack of the inkjet printer film. Because I already know I'll probably use up this five pieces relatively quickly. So I'm probably going to go ahead and just get another order in. I don't know if it comes in, in a larger pack than just five sheets. But I'll find that out and, and let y'all know in one of the later videos. So here we have the pole. You know what? I thought I was going to be all prepared and have my tools out and everything, and then I totally forgot. So let me. <clears throat> I'm just going to stick this back here with my other stuff. So you've got your pole. I'm going to move this sheet out of the way as well. I'm assuming that is the handle for the light, and you've got comes with the hardware you need comes with the allen wrench so I didn't even need any tools and then it's got four little sticky tabs for you to put on the bottom so it won't slide around okay sorry I'm out of and then this will be the light and it's got a user's manual with the light. And it's a UV LED black light. Okay. Looks like it's a 20 watt. I do know from watching other videos that there's not an on-off switch on this. That basically you just plug it in when you're ready to expose your stencil. And then you unplug it when you're finished. Sorry about all the crinkling. Alright, so let's see how long this cord is. Uh, I'm going to say it's probably a four foot cord. Probably a four foot cord. Okay. And I will get further into the instructions and see. I'm not sure if it's possible to use an extension cord with it. We sure don't want to be using an extension cord with it if it if you don't need to. Okay. So I don't know if you can see in the video. This does have a beveled edge so that you can tell. There you go. You can tell which is the bottom and then which is the top okay it's also got the place here for the screw where it'll go inside there and sit flat okay so that'll let you know all right i'm one two 
read the instructions. So we're going to go through the quick setup guide. We're going to put this thing together, and then I'm going to give you a, a surprise at the end. All right, so you've got the stand or the base. You've got the arm, the screws, the light, the light arm. you got an Allen wrench. Okay, so attach a bumper pad to each corner of the stand at the bottom. All right. I think it's pretty awesome that they gave you the little bumper pads, too. Sorry if you hear barking in the background. I've got two little Pomeranians downstairs that anytime anything moves outside, they are just all about it. They think they own the whole entire neighborhood. And my husband's been ordering some stuff for his hobby. And we've had some deliveries today, so... All right, easy peasy breezy. Got those all on there, okay? Then it says, place the stand base with pads down on the table. Insert one screw through the hole from the bottom. Attach the stand arm and tighten with the Allen wrench. Uh, there's three screws, they're all the same. So I'm going to... Put the screw in from the bottom, it says. Okay. It's got a hole on each end, so I don't guess it matters. I'm not seeing any indication of, of which is top and which is bottom. So I'm just screwing it on there like this, and then I'll tighten it up. Okay. Just tighten it up with the Allen wrench. And I never know if I'm supposed to use these with the long end or the short end. I just, whichever way works. If I can't get it in that way. So there we go. It's just me. All right, so that's good and tight. <clears throat> Next step, attach the light arm to the stand arm. Insert the top of the stand arm into the cutout of the light arm. So we're taking that where it's got the cutout, fitting that right down on top of that stand arm. Squaring it up as best as I can, and then I'm going to insert the screw. So far, easy peasy breezy all the way around. Okay, now we're going to add the light to the arm. Insert one screw through the top of the light arm. And you can see where it's going to go down inside there, so it's going to lay flush. Attach the LED light. And if you can see that the light has this little arm on it. Okay. And on there... It's got a hole right in the center that I'm going to be attaching this to. Then I'm going to use this wing nut. You want to do it where the cord is coming out the back of the lamp. Okay. I'm not good at these wing nuts either, so I say righty tidy. But then sometimes you go left. And it's really right, but it's left. I don't know. I'm not good at this sometimes. Especially upside down. Uh huh. It's left on this. Yeah, I don't know why. 
I've never figured it out, but who am I to ask questions about that? Okay. Look at that. Piece of cake. Piece of cake. Then, when I'm ready to expose a screen, I'm just going to take this, plug it in, and all that. So there you go. There we have it. Whoops. Icon art. Smart screen stencil maker. Assembled in minutes. Okay. I can't wait to do an instructional video showing y'all what all we can do with this. I am so excited about this. But the last thing I want to share with you is this. And I'll leave a link down in the description below. Uh, I reached out to the wonderful folks at Icon Art earlier today and said, you know, I just, I just got my stencil maker. I'm really excited about it. I want to do a, an unboxing video and I would absolutely love to send some business your way. So those wonderful folks over at Icon Art gave me a coupon code and I'm going to have it listed in the link below the video. Um, go over to IconArtStencil.com and I'll have that link down there as well. And if you use my code, which is just MayhemBling, M-A-Y-H-E-M, B-L-I-N-G, that will save you some money off the cost of your, of your kit. So I thought that would be a nice little surprise for everybody. If you do, go over to IconArtStencil.com and use that coupon code. They will show me a little love and that will help me keep putting some videos out there for everybody. So go check them out. They've, they've also got a YouTube channel. They've got videos that gives you all kinds of ideas and, and ways to use their product. But tune back in later. <clears throat> Hopefully within the next few days, I'll be using this wonderful thing to make some, some projects and sharing those with you. And as I learn and find out tips and tricks on what you can use it for and how you can use it, I will be more than happy to be sharing those with you right here on my channel. If this is your first time visiting my channel, please hit the subscribe button down below. And if you'll click on that little bell notification, it'll let you know each and every time I upload a new video. And as the name says, Mayhem Bling, it's because I'm all over the place. I do all kinds of arts and crafts and you never know. I might be making a shirt one day. I might be doing a Dollar Tree haul one day. I might be doing a Dollar Tree craft. I might be doing some painting. I might share a recipe or two. So come back, check out my videos, and stay tuned to see what comes up next on Mayhem Bling. Thanks for stopping by today, everybody. Y'all have a good day. Bye-bye now.